Okay, so last night I was teaching the Celtic Cross and I thought I would do a quick one here just to show you how it can be read. Now this is just the basic way of reading it, but the question was um, for the querent was to show the current obstacles. Um, so show, show the current obstacles to success and fulfilment and how the querent can overcome them. So the first card that came up, the significator that was being used, is the Ace of Wands. Um, just to signify sort of success and you know, creativity and abundance and that sort of thing. And the first card that came up then was the Ace of Pentacles, crossed by the Magician. What struck me immediately is that the Magician is actually blocking the path to the money. So if you look here, there is a path through the various obstacles and the, the coin is sitting in the in the sky however the uh, the magician is blocking that so that the interaction between these two cards is that you know there's great opportunity and abundance and everything available there for the taking you just have to reach out and grab it however you're being blocked by your inability perhaps to see the um abundance or to see the path to it it's almost like you need to just set the intention and let, let the universe take care of it rather than trying to work out the how um, maybe exploring various options here to abundance, um, but maybe questioning what even your idea of success is, because that perhaps needs to be defined. Underneath we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is the root cause of the problem, so the question related to success and fulfilment. Um, and this would make me question what the querent sees as success, you know, perhaps maybe on the surface of it. The money is the success but actually is that the case because with the ten of pentacles being reversed here it questions the beliefs about money are there perhaps complicated beliefs here that if you end up doing really well it will actually cause you to have to work harder to keep that source of abundance or is it perhaps that it's easier just to stay as you are rather than have to deal with with more things so the question i would be asking back to the querent here is what are your beliefs about money what are we talking about here is it, you know, would it be easier for you to perhaps stay as you are? Is there a root belief surrounding emotional connections to money? Something going on here in the background. Are you, are you kind of holding back rather than enjoying the success in case you become successfully rich? Does being rich scare you? <clears throat> and is that something that you maybe don't like? Because when you think about wealth, do you have a negative belief about it? So it'll be, there's a deeper question and a deeper psychological route to this particular question. In the background here as well, receding into the background, we have the Six of Cups reversed. Six of Cups reversed would say to me very much that, um, you know, perhaps the person's lost touch with their inner child and the joy and the fun in life and has been weighed down with responsibility. And it's kind of, you know, emotions have been kind of clouding, you know, the ability to have fun and then to enjoy life that's receding into the background but at the same time don't lose sight of the connection to the inner child above it all we have the nine of cups reversed um you know what are the desires are they actually in alignment with what you want or is it what other people are telling you should be the way you know so are you looking outside of yourself for validation rather than looking within you know what is your definition of success and again we keep coming back to this central question what is the definition of success because is it actually comfortable for you you know he's sitting on a wooden bench he's upside down it's not particularly comfortable at the moment so what are we talking about here you know um if you don't know what your definition of success is and what it looks like for you then how exactly can you find it without being a bit mixed up king of cups sitting here in the position of immediate future you know it may be that other people's emotions and turmoils might try and strike you off course and steer you off course however it's really important that you maintain your emotional maturity and be that point of calm be the teacher the mentor the guide that people come to rely on don't allow others to steer you um you know be true to your emotional needs and allow yourself the time to explore those but at the same time to you know, be the, be the guide and mentor that you came here to be. The card number seven, then the Hierophant. Um, you know, 
how you, how you see yourself as you know as a teacher as a guide as someone who is um, looking after the fundamental principles of ancient knowledge you know staying true to that passing on that knowledge always learning always seeking new information that's part of what actually fulfills you so it needs to be part the question remember related to you know how best to achieve this and how, you know how to overcome any obstacles well you know one of the reasons for your own fulfillment is constantly learning and you know, sharing that knowledge, so that needs to be part of the plan rather than it being a focus on anything material. The material will come as a side effect of that. Outside influences here, we've got the Four of Pentacles, you know, so perhaps all around you, everybody's hanging on to money, everybody's tightening their, their belts, everybody's, you know, hanging in there. You know, perhaps in the immediate environment around the people, there's a lot of saving going on and fear about money, what's coming. That has to be very carefully balanced because you don't want it to hold on to that fearful energy of lack okay moving forward then up into the six of wands reversed here as an advice card is very much you know have you been keeping personal achievements to yourself out of fear of people judging you or um, out of jealousy um, you know just being aware of keeping you know it's okay to keep your achievements to yourself and keep them private that's absolutely fine but if you're doing it out of a out of a sense of fear or a sense of lack of confidence then you might want to work on that as well um, and just again you know always questioning your motivations nobody's asking you to be ego driven here but at the same time you know what successes are you proud of and maybe taking a view on that and feeding that back into your definition of success and the final card then is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles showing up here just to say, keep continuing to balance your juggling of time, resources and energy in order to maintain the balance. You know, life will continue to throw things at you. Life will continue to be busy. But in order to manage that, you just always have to be flexible and be able to juggle it. Um, you know, and it's not just about the, the finances that are being juggled here. It's your time, your resources, your energy, your well-being. And all these things are conducive to your overall well-being so the the question being show me the current obstacles to success and fulfillment and how to overcome them i think the main message here is definitely that the definition of success needs to be looked at um you know what does that look like for you create a clear vision allow yourself the space to bring it to life you know perhaps visualizing each step along the way and allowing flexibility in those steps so that you can continue to juggle when needs be but that you have the space you know, reorganizing your schedule to actually live the life that you want what does that life look like you know what is that successful life look like for you and as a result then where is it out of balance and where do changes need made and it's only when you take a clear look at that that perhaps the magician then will move out of the way and actually allow you to see the path ahead to the success and the abundance that you want so hopefully that short reading helps you see how um, a celtic cross can be read this was just the basic steps in the advanced class we will take this apart and look at it in a much more detailed way and you know find different hidden meanings of um, psychological horizons below and above we'll look at different mini readings that we can find within within the spread and we can look for flows and look for patterns you can see very much that there's a prevalence of cups and pentacles in this reading with only just the one wand apart from the significator and two major arcana the two major arcana are not that significant in a 10 card reading um however there is a clear pattern of pentacles and cups which would say there's a definite emotional attachment and belief system about finances and money and that's something that needs to be very carefully looked at in along with the definition of success so hopefully that's helped you see how um, a celtic cross could be interpreted um obviously if this was a real reading there would be a, it would be much longer but this is just the bare bones to get you started so have a think about how you would interpret the cards for yourself and if you want to feel free to stick your comments below